for graduating university students, it's time to look for a job. Yes, J-O-B. But as we know, the landscape, it looks a whole lot different now. Some companies have laid off staff. Others have hiring freezes. Evelyn Asensio is graduating with a master's in public health and looking for work during this pandemic. Evelyn is joining us now on the show. Good to talk to you today. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? Well, first off, congratulations. This is a very exciting time, but also a challenging time. So how is the job hunt going for you so far? Yes. So I, as you said, I graduated uh, last week in June, um, but I'd actually started looking for work in February. Um, so I applied to places in February and in March, they let me know that a lot of the job uh, postings were being canceled due to COVID-19. Um, so kind of just fast forward to May and June, um, some of the jobs that I've been looking for, the postings, there have been a lot less of them that I've noticed. Um, and in recent, and the recent few the last few weeks, I've noticed that more of the jobs that are available are through the summer um, jobs program that the federal government is funding. Um, but even those, I've heard back from employers that so many applicants are applying. One of them that I applied to had about 600 applicants. So they're kind of adding, asking, um, asking applicants to add more supplementary writing samples and things like that so they could filter out who they want to interview. I would suspect with all of this going on, you're trying to build up your resume as much as possible. Uh, are you picking up any skills at this point to try to help you get a job in the next little while? Yes, yeah, so I'm a public health student, um, so and we're in a public health crisis, so kind of I'm in the very eager to get to work and to actually make a difference in the community. And one of the things that I'm working with is a group of students have created, a group of students at my school, the Dalan School of Public Health, um, have created a collective, the Infectious Disease Working Group. Um, and so one of the things I'm working with them on is creating a map. And this map, um, we teamed up with 2-on-1 Ontario to provide different, um, they've given us a data on different resources. And so I helped develop this map that you're seeing. Um, and so on this map, um, you could have, it has all the different social resources in Toronto. And one of the things I helped create was the filters. And the filters give you different options on how to, you know, it, there's so many different resources out there for COVID-19 right now. We realize the community's inundated with them and you might want things that are more specific uh, to your needs. So this filter, the filtering option will help you look at things if you need specific resources to housing or employment, childcare. Um, and this is Amazing. actually a skill that I have learned at a placement through my program. Yeah. And now with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, it kind of just worked that I had just learned this and then I'm putting it to use. Evelyn, I have to say, it's creative minds like yours that are needed in the workforce. I know there's an employer out there watching right now that's going, wait a second, you're going above and beyond. We need to have you uh, work on our team. So hopefully that happens for you quickly. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations and stay in touch. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.